Hey, thanks for joining us. Here's another question that I pulled off of the comment section. Some of these were by the same poster. And again, if you want your name used in these answers, leave your name when you email me or when you go to emians.com and put your question in, and I'll certainly give you credit for the, for the question. Well, this is a good one. And he, I think it's a he, um, if it was a modern technological society where all our stainless steel engineering constructions and all that, we would have found those artifacts, definitely. We would have seen that stainless steel, which does not disappear, doesn't rust, um, and there are many other things that would have been left behind as undeniable evidence, but there is none. Well, first off, as, as we've talked before, we don't know there is none. We have certainly not found a lot of evidence. We found some decent evidence of, oh, like the scrapings of teeth from the Emians, people back in the 100,000 years ago during the Emian interglacial. And we find there is actually industrial pollutants. Well, pollutants that are similar to what we might think of, in, of an industrial waste that we can scrape from their teeth. So there definitely was fire. There was some type of smoke. There was, they were obviously cooking at that time. They knew how to cook. And we don't know where that industrial waste deposits came on their teeth, but we can speculate. But let's talk about stainless steel for a moment. Stainless steel seems like it would go on forever, right? Counters, elevator doors, everywhere you look, there's a bit of stainless steel, and it seems to last forever. But the truth is, as you look at the evidence, at the data for stainless steel, it's predicted to last about 1,200 years. Now, for you and me, <laughs> with our stainless steel fridge and all that, that's a, that's a lot longer than we care about. But 1,200 years, that's not very long. Multiply that times 12, 10. I can't multiply it times 12. Okay, multiply it times 10. That's 12,000 years, about as long as our current civilization, which we are in right now called the Holocene, that's about as long as we've been around. And that's when it starts to degrade. But the Emians were 120,000 years ago, 100,000 years ago. That's 100 times longer than the 12,000 year period. It's a long, long time. And no, stainless steel is very likely to not survive that period of time. Moreover, you have to remember that there were glaciers after the Emian climate disaster where something happened, where greenhouse gases rose up dramatically. Most of Antarctica, well, half of Antarctica melted. All of Greenland melted. Seas rose 10, 100 feet. Something happened. And during that period of first green and luscious place like we have now, very comfortable for humans, and then a climate disaster, and after that, glaciers came back. And for 80,000 or so years, the Earth was again covered in glaciers. And when a glacier comes, it scrapes away pretty much everything that's there, and when it leaves, it carries with it. You've, we have a place out here called Vetavu that I don't know if it was actually formed by the glaciers, but it sure looks like it was. Boulders sitting on top of high mountains. And if you've ever looked around at the results of a glacier coming through, carving canyons, leaving deposits of giant rocks in places, it's, it's pretty brutal. So the chance of evidence like that being around, not very good. Okay, thanks, and I appreciate the questions. Let me know if you have another one. Go to emians, E-E-M-I-A-N-S dot com, and ask your questions.